Hi, I'm Richard Levine with the Entomological Society of America here in Orlando, Florida for two important entomology meetings. The first is the 2016 International Congress of Entomology and the other one is the annual meeting of the Entomological Collections Network. I'm here with Max Barkley from the UK and uh, Max, I hear you won a special award from yes. the ECN. Yes, I'm Max Barkley. I'm the collection manager at the Natural History Museum in London and for me the ECN is always the highlight of these annual meetings. The Entomological Collections Network is the main reason that I come. I mean, it's considered to be a smaller meeting and it takes place beforehand, but it's really, really a first class meeting. And um, last year I came to this meeting and gave a talk about um, uh, interpretation of collections and how we interpret our collections to the public. And one of the things I said is that sometimes we're not as enthusiastic as we might be because we're slightly modest or slightly um, concerned to make it look like we're having too much fun. And um, Mike Farrow and uh, Derek Waller got hold of this idea and decided to have a little sub-symposium in the Anthropological Collections Network this year about fun stories from the field. And what's the, so what, this award is for a story, is that right? This award is for a story that I told and... Uh, it's the goal, it's the... It's, it's, I think it's called, it says on the back, it says Best Field Tale, Golden Net. The Golden ECN. Net Award. 2016. So, so I don't know quite what I'm supposed to do with this net. I mean, the, um, the, the, yeah. the gauze is a little bit too thick for most of the things I'm interested in. And if it's it real gold, you might damage it. Yeah, I think it's not a real gold. I think it's real plastic. But, right. um, so so what's the, what was the story that won you this award? Well, there were some fantastic stories yesterday. There were people talking about their field work in Borneo, in Venezuela, in, in the far east of Russia. And, and most of the stories had a little bit of a catch to them that, you know, somebody got arrested or somebody fell down a hole or somebody got bitten by a snake or something like that and um, nice. and I, I think we were encouraged to do that so okay. I was in Peru with a colleague uh, a couple of years ago and um, uh, collecting beetles in the Alto Madre de Dios and we went back to Cusco for a town break and uh, to enjoy a few days up in Cusco and I went collecting water beetles on the Altiplano and got bitten by a dog and went into the pub where my colleagues were and said hey I just got bitten by a dog and they said oh well you know have a beer and I said well you know I'm actually quite worried about having been bitten by a dog in Peru you know there might be some implications for this and they said, have another beer and then this uh, archaeologist came and joined us at the table and he said oh yeah that happened to a friend of mine and uh, he uh, they managed to get him home to the States before he died and uh, uh, okay okay this is probably quite serious and I said Do, the guy was a local and I said do you know of anywhere where I can go and get this seen and he said oh yeah there's a rabies clinic on the hospital you know I recommend that you just pop down to that right so my colleague and I went down to the rabies clinic and uh, the doctor um, had these uh, long needles and um, this uh, anti-rabies serum because the rabies vaccine is not a proper vaccine you know it's not like yellow fever vaccine you know where you can take the vaccine and then you can get yellow fever as much as you like and it won't develop the rabies vaccine just gives you time but you still have to have the post exposed treatment so um, this uh, doctor says well uh, you have to come back every two days I said well we're just about to go down to the Alto Madre de Dios you know it's about uh, a day and a half's journey we're not going to be able to do that and he said well do you have anybody medically trained in your party and I just thought well I better say yes because otherwise he's going to say that I can't go so I said yes and um, indicated that my, my colleague was, was medically trained and then the doctor got this uh, needle out and stuck it in my arm at which point my colleague who was supposed to be medically trained actually passed out. <laughs> so uh, I said, well, yeah, it was my other colleague who's medically trained. Don't worry, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And then he said, okay, you just take the serum and you put it in the freezer. And I said, well, we haven't got a freezer. Uh -huh. And so he goes and talks to his colleagues and he comes back and he says, okay, if you haven't got a freezer, you have to mix this stuff every day. So you have this white powder and this serum and you mix them together and then you have to grind it all up and you do this and then you have to pull it into a syringe and you have to jack it into your arm right and just do this every couple of days so we got down to the jungle and we were sitting on the jungle platform you know looking out over the valley and we got hummingbird feeders and we got agoutis and packers and things frolicking in the in the grass and uh, no electricity and no running water and absolutely nothing and I got this needle out and my colleague says oh well um we better have some alcohol as well and I say yeah that's a good idea you know uh, and he come out with a bottle of red wine and two glasses and <laughs> which is not what I'd expect but it actually it was very effective <laughs> in the situation so yeah I did these injections and I didn't get rabies so obviously it worked and um, 
I mean, the only consequence of this is is that the um, the doctor said uh, he's not too worried about the rabies actually, but I should be more worried about some of the other things which the dog might have. And so he put me on a whole load of antibiotics. And of course, he didn't know that I was supposed to be collecting dung beetles and that antibiotics is a really bad thing to be doing while you're collecting dung beetles because it wipes out all your intestinal fl flora and then uh, then the dung doesn't smell right and it doesn't attract anything. So you've got these pitfall traps with nothing in them. Couldn't you have used dog dung? Well, I was a little bit wary of dogs by that time. <laughs> um, it's a nasty business going around the side of the road collecting dung. You know, you've probably got dung from the various lorry drivers who've been up and down the road <laughs> from Cusco, but you don't really want to be handling that. Gotcha. It's much better that you can just produce it yourself and you know where it comes right. from and it's clean. Uh, but it's going to kill the beetles, huh? But if it's full of antibiotics, it doesn't attract anything. So or it's going to kill the bacteria in there. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's right. The, the, right. But it was a successful trip and we had a number of new species. And uh, I, I just brought back actually the holotype, which is is is, is going, oh, it's a new um, species. Yeah, we got one holotype going back to Peru uh, nice. of, of a new species that we collected on that trip, and uh, we got a whole hat full of new species. So it's all about biodiversity discovery in the end, and the, the funny stories are a good part of it. But yeah. it's about building the collections and about discovering biodiversity, and uh, you get bitten by the occasional dog or snake yeah. or something like that. It's well, just all that's that's all right. You, part of the game, you know. It's it's yeah. I mean, you, so I don't know if I'm supposed won, to keep this. You won this award. You know, you you got bit by a dog, but look what you won. So yeah. Exactly. I'm going to put this on the wall. I don't know whether I'm supposed to give it back next year so that it can be given to somebody else. But uh, I don't know. You have to check out. Uh, you have to talk to the people at the ECN, I guess. I mean, but one of my colleagues, Zach Phelan, he uh, he had a picture of himself uh, wearing only a net like this, but uh, this is uh, not such a good net for that. Right. <laughs> well, once again, congratulations and enjoy the rest of the meeting. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you.